are also being joined right now by Subramanian Swami, the man of the moment really. Uh, 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 sir, your case dismissed, your petition dismissed by the trial court judge. Judge, we've heard you come out of the court and say that you are disappointed at the day's proceedings and you will actually appeal to a higher court. Uh, what is your uh, next strategy right now? Well, uh, uh, to study the order, I have uh, been briefly through it and I find surprisingly that uh, Justice Saini has said, yes, Swami has established that uh, Chidambaram and Raja together decided the 2001 price. That was one of my, my allegations. And the second allegation is that, yes, he and uh, Chidambaram and Raja together uh, uh, part, uh, participate to uh, take the decision uh, to uh, dilute the shares so that uh, the... Uh, Swan Telecom and Unitech could sell at huge profits to Etisalat and Telenor. But he said that doesn't show that Mr. Chidambaram participated with criminal intent. Now I'm sorry to say that uh, this part of the, uh, uh, of the logic of Mr. Justice Saini I don't agree with. Because that is to be done at the trial stage. At this stage I have to show that there is a prima facie evidence that Mr. Chidamram and Raja were decided together and in view of the fact that Mr. Raja has been held to be criminally culpable for fixing the price at 2001 and for allowing the share dilution before rollout. Therefore, if Mr. Chidamram and Raja have participated together to make the decision, they, it is prima facie obvious that there must be criminality. That I will establish in the trial stage. But unfortunately, the judge has said, uh, has applied the standards of a trial court uh, trial stage to a uh, prima facie stage and this is against all judgments of the Supreme Court uh, right. and therefore I'll have to appeal. Sometimes, Dr. Uh, Dr. sometimes Dr. lower court judges make mistakes. Just, just ho we, we'll get yeah. a, a, a comment from Harish Salve as well on that. Uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Salve... Uh, no, no, I have to uh, leave uh, just now. No, uh, okay, in that, to, in that uh, case, sir, meeting. sir, there's also charges been made against you by the Congress party saying that your entire case is essentially politically motivated, that your reasons to go <laughs> to the trial court are politically motivated. So your comments to that, we've heard Congress Minister after Congress Minister, well, they come out and they, say that? I think, you see, the Congress people, the Congress people are all illiterate. They don't read Supreme Court judgments. There is a very famous judgment starting from 1992 uh, called the Bhajan Lal Statement, where the same charge was made by Mr. Bhajan Lal, and it was held that a complainant's political animosity or his political leanings have no bearing on when a complaint is presented. We have to go by facts. My facts have not been disputed by Justice Saini. The only question is the interpretation whether I have established criminality or not. And that, in my opinion, is prima facie established by the fact that Mr. Raja has already been held guilty of criminality. And therefore, Mr. Chidambaram, is he, if he's a partner, then it follows that prima facie he's also there unless it is rebutted. And it can be rebutted only in the trial stage. So therefore, I have having established these facts. None of my facts have been disputed by Justice Saini. Therefore, it doesn't matter whether I have political motives or not. Congress also files cases against opponents. Do we call that politically motivated? Of course, routinely many people say that. But that is not relevant. The relevant is the facts that have been presented. And most of these Congress spokesmen don't do any reading and writing. Uh, sir, uh, Kapil Sibyl said that he is confident, of course, you will appeal to a higher court and the Supreme Court. You will not meet any success over there and therefore you may even have to appeal to God. This was what Kapil Sibyl said uh, a few hours ago, uh, right after the, the verdict was pronounced. Well, I'm, I'm glad sir, Kapil Sibyl has th started thinking about God because uh, he has much to answer. The fact is that many of the things he has said has been now found to be absurd. The zero loss has been found to be absurd. He said he will not cancel licenses because there were only pro procedural lapses. That has been now been found to be absurd in the Supreme Court. So who, uh, what credibility can uh, Kapil Sibyl have? And he told me when I first applied for sanction, who is Swami to apply? He, uh, a citizen cannot write to a Prime Minister. Now the court has said, yes, citizens can write to the Prime Minister. He said that I have to go to first to the uh, police station and file an FIR, then only I can send a letter for, uh, for sanction. All these things have been uh, proved to be absurd. So I don't think you should quote uh, Kapil Sibyl to me. Please uh, spare uh, all of us this, uh, uh, the, this uh, having to respond to jokes. Right, sir. Uh, you said that uh, when you came out of the court, you said that uh, these, as we said, your initial reactions, you were going to study the order carefully and plan your next stage. Uh, give us a sense yes. of how long you're going to take to figure out what next. I have three months to make up my mind, but I will do it as fast as possible. And I, I have to also decide whether the Supreme Court order 
earlier on on the monitoring of the CBI, whether it, they held that I should come directly from uh, Saini's court to the Supreme Court or have to go through the High Court. All these things will be decided in the very near future. And this is not the first time, incidentally, that in a 2G matter I have lost a case and then won it at a higher court. I lost in the high court on the sanction issue. I lost in the uh, low, uh, higher, uh, high court on, uh, uh, on this uh, license cancelling matter. And uh, Prashant Bhushan lost the monitoring of uh, CBI in the high court and he had got it in the Supreme Court. So I, I think, you know, we, we, this is part of the uh, legal process of our democratic country. And therefore, uh, just because of this thing, uh, I don't think anything can be, uh, can be assumed uh, that the matter is over. This is a battle lost, but the war is on.